time you restore, repair, or alter an object, you alter its value. Okay? It could be altered for the better. Everyone goes, oh, don't touch it, don't touch it. Well, sometimes restoration is a good thing. It could be altered for the better, or it could be actually done a lousy job, and all of a sudden you devalued it. They did a very nice job. The artist is a relatively well-known artist. William Mason Brown. Right. Particularly in this neck of the woods, right? Now, so this particular piece, a couple of things I'm going to show you what they've done with restoration, if I may. You can learn more from the back than you'll ever learn from the front of any painting, okay? If you look at the back, you're going to notice that they put a solid backboard on it, okay? They have relined the painting. That means they took another piece of canvas on the old piece of canvas, they glued them together, and then they restretched the new piece of canvas, which now will strengthen along the stretcher bars, which are these wooden bars at the back, which will strengthen the whole operation. It's a very good thing for a painting. Now, usually people come to that not because a painting is dirty, but because a painting is flaking, right? Or because a painting, in fact, has a tear or a rip. It's a beautiful landscape in the 19th century style. It has a couple of warping areas. You can actually see where the piece was repaired, but it's a good repair. And value on your frame is about $500, just the frame which dates to about 1870, with the typical encathis leaves. These leaves all the way around are similar to what you might find on architectural elements. Frames are like clocks. They look to architecture for their motifs. And this particular painting is, should, is worth retail value, based on the sales record where a similar one has sold, between ten dollars and $15,000. Wow. 